V, can you hear me? Um, uh, loud and clear, whoever you are. Good, it worked. My name is Somi. Just call me Salma, though. I know who you are. I know your situation, your problem. And I can save your life. All right, Songbird. Got my full attention. Glad to hear that. You must have questions, and I'll answer them in due course shortly. But first, I need you to get to that swollen appendix in Night City called Dogtown. Dogtown? Chunk of Pacifica, ex-territorial. Lord of the Lands won Kurt Hansen. International arms dealer. Corpos give it a wide berth. I skip anything? Nope. More or less on the button. Answer, please. I know you're on the line. Putting it plainly, you know me, I don't know you. But I'm supposed to haul ass to Night City's worst district? Not exactly bursting with excitement about this plan. I'll explain everything and prove I can help you. Right now, though? I'm begging you, V. Dogtown's main gate. Be there as soon as you can. I'll make contact again then. Huh. This is one elaborate haze. Or a fucking lifeline. Hey, V. Haven't heard of any cyber psycho attacks lately. I think it's time we put an end to our little arrangement. Drop on by sometime. We'll catch up in person. How's things with Max? Mm, not easy. Be surprised if it were. Guess he didn't like what you've become, huh? I didn't used to like certain things either. Still don't like them. But I learned how to swallow them. What's he gonna do now? Don't think even he knows that. Wanted to tell me something? Just that I appreciate the effort you put in. You've given most cyber psychos a second chance. And I know it wasn't easy. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. Wanted to tell me something? About cyberpsychosis? Not really, but thanks again for the help, V.
starts puking in the middle of the first verse, I'll give him shit too! Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Um, bother us at doing what exactly? Mike, we're talking You'll about the cornerstone of my platform. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Corp... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We shouldn't delay too long. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. 
I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Security looking at this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope, that about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you've got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Shouldn't delay too long. Shall we?
Shall we? Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, huh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in.
Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Jefferson, you've come a long way. To get from Haywood all the way here, it's no easy thing. Yes. If you aren't born with a silver shard, your chances are slim. And if you're born in Haywood, they're almost non-existent. Iron. This, this Jeff's? Is where we sleep. Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses. So we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> Blue roses. What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary, the bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything.
Bloodstains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Sure thing. We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy! The sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do.
Tech's practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Used meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. This is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind.
We take the wheels, V. That van could give us a slip any second. Ice shoot 